Okay. I'm going to have to say I, I'm pretty pissed off about this. This is, this is fucked up. Okay, so this, this, this person, Nicole Kessinger, is a grown woman. She chooses to sleep with a married man. She not only chooses to sleep with a married man, but, you know, like when we're young, we make mistakes. We might date someone that's married that claims to be leaving their wife only because they're looking for a piece of ass or they're just not happy with their husband or wife, whatever the case may be. And as as young adults, we kind of have to learn the hard way that, that that's a road that we don't want to walk down. She, she dated the guy, okay, from the time she first Googled Shanann Watts to the time they had died had been around a year. So she had this ongoing relationship with, with Chris Watts for a year. So for a year, she had been, he had been claiming that he was going to leave his wife. Now, if he was truly going to leave his wife within that year, don't you think he would have done it sometime before that year was up? Okay, now let me tell you what I honestly believe. I wasn't 100% sure, sure in the beginning, and I didn't do a lot of videos on Nicole Kessinger because she, she just kind of came off as being young and, and, you know, trying to find her place with just walking her path. In the end, towards the end, when he went to spend five weeks with his wife in North Carolina or South Carolina, wherever it was, she had mentioned, I told him he needs to try to make it work with Chris. She, she didn't mean, you know, Chris, try to make it work with your wife. It, what she was saying without actually saying it is, now I'm starting to feel a little insecure. I've been seeing and sleeping with you behind your wife's back for a year. You're going to go spend five weeks alone with your wife, and I know you're going to sleep with her. So she started feeling insecure with herself. She started feeling like she might lose Chris. So then she started throwing darts out there like, okay, Chris, maybe you should just try to work it out with your wife just to see what Chris's reaction would be. So when Chris initially ended up in, in you know, on vacation with his wife, I think that is when he first started planning the murders because Nicole started, you know, really turning up the heat at that point. And Chris at that point started feeling like this is, I'm going to lose her. You know, if she's telling me to work things out with my wife. She's got to be thinking about leaving me. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose this woman where Nicole knew she knew for a year that this guy was married. Okay. We're, I'm sleeping in the basement. We're splitting up. That would have been done long before that year was up had that been true. She taunted Chris. I think you should make things work with your wife. She was putting the feelers out there to see what his response would be because she started feeling insecure like she was going to lose Chris on that vacation. Like, he's going to mend things with his wife and I'm just going to lose him. So I need to start feeling around to see what his, his reaction is going to be. I need to know if this, is, if, if this is happening or if it's not. But this is the part that pisses me off. This woman, this adult, chooses to sleep with a married man for over a year, takes it up the ass. He elects to enter into a, a, a plea deal, not wasting any taxpayer's money. So now she, Nicole Kessinger, Chris Watts' mistress, will reportedly be placed in federal protection. It says, if I can get this thing to work. Well, it's not working. But to make a long story short, here we go. Nicole Kessinger, the mistress of Chris Watts, who brutally murdered his pregnant wife and two children, will reportedly be placed in witness protection program. Radar Online reported, following public threats and shaming due to her relationship with Watts, Kessinger wants a new identity and a chance to start over. Well, I'm sorry, but fuck you, man. You... You spread your legs to a married guy for a year. You taunt him, which ultimately led to him killing his fucking wife because he felt like he was going to lose you. And taxpayers have to pay for that? You made this choice. You're a grown woman. I think the public needs to get together. Every taxpayer, all of you watching this in America, needs to get together and f file some type of a civil or federal suit, whatever it takes, against this action. There's no way... It's not like she's testifying against Chris or she's testifying against, you know, a, a mobster that, you know, is dealing millions of dollars worth of drugs and bringing them into the U.S. She serves no purpose other than the fact she spread her pussy 
to a married man. And taxpayers have to pay for this. Fuck you. Hell no. Th this is what I'm saying. Women, don't take this personally. Whether you're taking a woman on a date, whether you are marrying a woman, whether you are dating a woman, that vagina will cost you money every time. I'm sorry if you guys take offense to that, but that little flower down there is worth, it, it's, it starts wars, it gets people murdered. Like, I tell my son all the time, you know, when he, when he gets a little older, those things can be toxic. With great power comes great responsibility. You know, <laughs> enter with caution. Be careful of those things. They are to be extremely respected. If you guys like the video, subscribe. I'll try to make more on her, but this really just fucking pisses me off, and I did not mean to offend you women. It, it, in, in a sense, I was, I was kind of trying to put you on a pedestal there, but <laughs> I'm sorry if that offended you. If you like, please like, subscribe, and I'll make more on this topic. This is, this is pretty fucked up. All of you, men and women watching this, that go out and bust your ass working every day, you have to pay to put this woman in some really nice house in some exotic country somewhere just because people are threatening her for a decision she made out of her own free will. I want all of you to wrap your mind around that. Please leave a comment.